I didn't meet anybody who had spina bifida until I was in my 20s. There you go. Come on, go. Fitness allows me to feel like everyone else. Now I'm able to help others. <sighs> Spina bifida is a condition that affects the spine. I was born with myelomeningocele, and that is the most severe uh, type of spina bifida. My spine was actually completely exposed at L5, so which is about right here. And some of my organs were on the outside of my body. I didn't meet anybody who had spina bifida until I was in my 20s. So I'm walking around thinking I'm the only one. So you're thinking, why me? Like, what did I do? Was I a bad kid? It affected me a lot because I didn't know how to handle people who were bullying me. I saw a billboard that said, Ronald McDonald 5K charity walk free. And I was like, okay, I like free. I, a 5K walk, like, I can do that did the 5K, I was exhausted, but I showed up, I was on time, and I went when everybody went, and I stopped when everybody stopped. I was like, holy I wanna keep doing this. Fitness allows me to feel like everyone else. What do you wanna do, like slid? Um, mm. You could have me run. Like we did last time. Oh, that was cool. That I was mean, good because you came with me. Um, and then we could do, do battle do ropes. And then we could do pull ups. No one is judging anyone in the fitness community. Everyone is encouraging one another. I started like seeing the world differently. Yeah. Go, just keep. There you go. One more time. Five, four, three, two, and. <laughs> yeah. Burn. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah. Shoulders. So why don't take her classes? <laughs> She's crazy. 5 a.m.? What are your classes like? Uh, they're pretty fun. I call She's it She's trying fun. to get people up at 5 in the morning. 4.30. 4.30, sorry. You should come. You got to come that day. I might. No, not might. You should. When I joined Instagram, I didn't know anything about the platform. If I simply just looking at the word, I remember just going, oh my gosh, I'm beautiful, they're beautiful. Why don't we just add the two together and just make the hashtag? So it just goes to show you that if you take something, you can take anything. And if you just slightly make an adjustment, you can change the world. Uh, we are off right now to a coffee shop and we're gonna go meet one of my spiny beautiful girls who I haven't seen in a while, so it's gonna be pretty cool. Oh my God. I was diagnosed with spina bifida when I was born. I was totally independent, walking on my own with nothing, with like maybe a little bit of a limp. And then in 2013, I had to start using crutches ever since then. Are you using your crutches more? Or are you using? Uh, my wheelchair, actually. To be a young person with spina bifida it is difficult. But you're still going to school. Mm -hmm. You're still taking classes. You're mm -hmm. still staying active. You're skiing. Yeah. So you just kind of have to slowly modify things a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And that's OK? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meeting you has been awesome. <laughs> it's brought more confidence in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just super cool to be able to meet somebody. It's just really good to like meet others who are adoptive, whether it be spina bifida or not. Turn around, turn this way. I loved meeting Misty today. Just know that you have somebody there and that you do have a support system. So seeing Bryce today was like beyond great. 
and she is spiny beautiful. Being with others who are adaptive and, and who are spiny beautiful is the greatest gift that I could ever give somebody. How I feel now, like looking back everything I went through, one, I can handle anything. Two, I get why I went through everything because now I'm able to serve a greater purpose and helping others. So I can use my knowledge to serve other people and help them get through stuff.